Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I finish off my review series of the Zavi exclusive Marvel Collector's Editions with Spider-Man Far From Home. So first thing we're going to look at is the outer casing. So we will take the J card off. Don't worry, that's not part of the uh, packaging. It's just a sticker, just so you know. So we will start off with the outer, which is a very nice indeed. Then we have Mysterio, Beck, Peter Parker, Spider-Man, and Nick Fury. Very nice indeed. And like I said, it's just a sticker, so I won't do much more of that, just in case it does rip it. But if you press that, just like the other ones, they light up. But with this one, it's more of a all light up in the back. I think probably the poorest one out of the lot for the lighting up. Doesn't really do much. Could have been a bit better. It could have, could have lit all that up as green. To be honest, it is probably would have been a bit better. It is, but yeah, nice little design. It is, and then on you have the spine, which is much better because you have the webbing on the back there as well. Very nice with the Spider-Man Far From Home and that Marvel Studios logo, and the collector's edition top is pretty much the same collector's edition with the spider webs and on board them as an all as the other two they have a where you can change the battery very nice indeed and then the design on the back which would be look pretty good on a steel book to be honest but that is a nice little thing maybe you could have had that on the front and had it light up a bit but still very nice spider-man logo and that on the top very nice indeed. And then if we open up the contents, so the first thing we're going to look at is this book, which they really did think outside the box for this one and making it look like his suitcase from the movie. Spider Man logo over there. And on the sides, there's a zip. Very nice indeed. Really is probably the best one this is out of the lot. So we will open it up and unlike the others, you actually get like a, a little folder to hold the cards in. So Spider-Man in London there, couple in London, Venice, and back in London again there. But very nice cards, promotional uh, shots for the movie and all that, isn't it? Probably not the best cards out of the lot. Probably the uh, least, probably the worst out of the lot, probably. It is for the cards. I think the other ones had better art and all that. I would have preferred them. But as I said before, very nicely made, very quality. And I just noticed it here. The inside of these, which I never noticed before, actually. Where he goes, Germany and that. Germany, Europe, Italia, United States, Prague. Very nice indeed. Never noticed that. I didn't. And in this one, instead of just three, we get six pins, which are very nice indeed. I do like all these. So you have the Great Britain one. We visit England, London. Very nicely made. Thick. They are thick pins, these are. Very nice indeed. Nice and colourful. And you have the Italy one with his face logo on it. Another nice one indeed. And then the USA Spider-Man one. And this must be the Prague one, is it? With the spider web. Nice. Very nice indeed. And then we have another one with just his face. And another one with the low ones of his chest, spider on his chest. So six, very nice indeed. If we take them all out, actually, I don't think there's anything underneath there, is it? Can we get that out? No. So nothing underneath there. So we will put these back in. Don't matter what order they're in. 
So yeah, very nice uh, set indeed there. Probably the best ones out of the lot. They are. And then we get on to the steel book, which is very nice indeed. I do like the art on this one. See the J card, which explains the usual. And then that is very nice indeed. On Tower Bridge, but there is it. Uh, Spider Man Far From Home. I like it is in the light, if you can see his eyes shine a little bit on the background. Reminds me a bit there of like when cars are seen like a Fast and the Furious type of thing, but there. But that is very nice indeed. And then on the back, you have his chest logo then, which is similar to the Captain Marvel one that came before it. Very nice indeed. And then when we open it up, just the two discs as usual. So you have the Blu ray on this side. Oh no, it's three discs actually. So you got the Blu ray of the movie. You have the Blu ray with the special, the bonus disc, special features on. Very nice indeed. And then on this side. The 4K. Very nice indeed. And then on the inside, probably the poorest out of the lot, which is just Spider's Web. Could have been a little bit more inventive they could have doing that, but still, it's not too bad. It's better than being plain. It is. So, yeah. Overall, this is probably my favourite, but a few little nitpicks on it. So my final thoughts on this one is, I'll give it the same score as the Captain Marvel one, 9.5. A couple of nitpicks with the cards and probably the lighting on the front of here, but otherwise definitely a near perfect collector's edition to have in your set. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and I will see you next time. Bye.